All right. When I first met Jim, I was a hormonal teenage girl. In other words, I was a sweet little angel. Although I've always loved Jim, I didn't always show it. And Jim, if you can make it through that, you can make it through anything. When I tell people that my mom is marrying my former roommate <laughs> and my best friend, I get some really weird looks. And even though Jim has been my ride or die these past few years, mom, you've been my best friend for my entire life. I could go on and on about how great of a mom you are, but you only gave me three minutes. Oh, thanks for laughing, Molly. <laughs> I don't know another couple your age that all of my friends want to hang out with, but you two are truly the best. I've always wanted more brothers. Bro? Bro. <laughs> brothers got a hug. And I couldn't ask for better step siblings. Love you. And by the way, that is much better than having to tell people I'm going to visit my mom's boyfriend's son's <laughs> wives. <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> Jim, you've always told me the best place to find fellas is at a wedding, so let's raise a glass to the couple of the decade. And uh, Lori, I'd like to have you put your hand on the table. And uh, Other hand, please. And Jim, put your hand over hers. Um, and enjoy this because it's the last time you'll have the upper hand. <laughs> Cheers. I nailed it! Love you! Ah! Oh, somebody help me! Good luck following that. I'm surprised she didn't drop the mic. That was pretty good. <laughs> well, first of all, hey, I want to just thank Chris and Yo. Um, I know we've all done that, um, but like, just to have this beautiful place to hold this wedding is, you know, is unbelievable. Uh, we're, we're very lucky and fortunate, so thanks. And uh, I was uh, pleased to hear that your courtship was 13 years. I had it clocked at 15, but either way, it made my six or seven year courtship of Jennifer feel like nothing. Felt like a hockey season. So. So, and it's kind of ironic, like, we're at, here at this wedding, and typically at weddings, people are getting to know each other, and, but, like, Laura, you felt like family from day one, and you, you really did, and, and your kids, the first time I met Scotty, and, and Chelsea, and, you know, and then, yeah, just, it felt, it felt right, it felt like family from day one, I remember going to Scotty and Tazaria's wedding a few years ago, and, and being there, just, like, again, I just, we already felt like we're family, so this is kind of, um, it's it's a di totally a different feel, obviously, for a wedding. And um, but I think what it you know what it symbolizes is like this is the best of what true love is. Get rid of all the you know the stuff that you typically hear at a wedding. It's about partnership. It's about being your best self for your partner. You know, nobody's perfect on every any given day, but your example strives me to be better to my wife to my family and i think i think everybody would feel that way in this room so i just wanted to give a toast to you guys um to two great americans and 28 great americans and uh i love you i love you both i can't wait for future memories and so glad you're by my dad's side thank you cheers Jeffrey. Oh, yikes. I, I, Chelsea, didn't prepare anything. Uh, but I'm happy to talk. So my cousin, uh, Tripp, who everybody obviously knows, um, he, as he wants to do, sends me texts that are quite random. And today he sent me one that just said, time marches on. 
And, of course, that means that he's referencing the 1992 song from Tracy Lawrence, Time Marches On. Of course, that's how you would know that about that. So I laughed, of course, and started thinking. I was like, oh, man, time does march on. Because in 1985, this guy over here that were at his house that was playing laser tag with me and him and that guy. And I'm sure my dad thought at the time, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to, uh, he's going to host another wedding of mine in 25 years. But he did. And that's what's awesome about this, because time certainly does march on. Uh, and the craziest thing about that is last night, I'm sitting there, and my kids and his kids and his kids and his kids are playing laser tag again. It, it's, the, it's just the cycle repeats itself. So all that said, it just makes me think of how cool our family has become and how long it's gone and now how it's graduated into something larger and now we've got a new new side of it and I'm so happy and you know Lori I was going to talk about the fact that you were you were in until you were out but you kind of stole my thunder so I had to I had to talk about trips time marches on which is which is kind of cool but I will say that you you're not you're in there's no you're you're not there is no until you're out you're just in like you can't have you you're just in you're in and everybody else is in and we love you so much and uh welcome to the newest heller of the group and there's a lot of them here love you guys If anybody has the uh, reverend's phone number, I would like it. It's just kind of hot. It's hot. Yeah. It's kind of hot. <laughs> hey, thank you, boy. No, you're thanking your boy. Oh, thanks, Bob. Love you, Dad. <laughs> Who has the shirt? Right here, right here, honey. Baby. Ah. Hello, everybody. Can. Thank you, thank you. Uh, first of all, thanks for Chris and Yo. I mean, for literally crashing the house with 25 people right during the busiest time of the year. And then uh, the other thing I want to thank is all the other people that made it happen. How about Reverend Lisa Heller? Uh, I think she has a new uh, calling in life there. Right. And the other thing I want to do is welcome Chelsea, Scott, Tazaria, Isla, and Calvin to the um, merger of the Larson Heller clan. Not to be confused with a hostile takeover. Also now known as the modern Brady Bunch. Uh, but for Lori, my beautiful bride, I couldn't be happier. And I want you to know, you're not in until you're out. You're in it for life now. Yeah. Um, are you up? Well, I, don't, I didn't prepare anything. I didn't prepare anything, I guess, but I would just add on Brianna. You've all met Brianna by now, but sh this wouldn't have happened without Brianna, who's our fabulous wedding planner. Um, and Kathy Heller, who was my local wedding planner. So thanks for, thank you, Kathy, for everything. And thanks, Brianna. Um, all the little kids who did a fabulous job today. Thanks, all you guys. Um, our special readers, of course, Tazari and Jen. Um, but I think the biggest thing is just thank you all for being here, and Kevin and Connie in particular for joining the family. Um, we've got... We've got, um, I mean, it's no secret, we've got a journey ahead, but we honestly feel that each and every one of you guys are with us on this journey. And so we thank you all, and cheers. Thanks, Jim. Go, Chelsea! <laughs> Go, Chelsea! <laughs> Okay, guys, I will. Uh, I also did not prepare anything, but the moment has moved me to jump up and say something. So, um, what has hit me as I'm sitting at this table, I realize that I've learned about 
95% of what I know in this world uh, from people sitting in this room, right? From uh, my parents, um, my wife, the, uh, the smartest person I know, my kids, my mentors in my career, Kevin and Connie, um, to everybody, even, uh, well, uh, yeah, and then even, you know, Calvin could probably teach me something, and then right under that's probably Jeffrey of what I've learned. But, um, but what I will say is that Jim has taught me so many things, um, from everything from how to cut down a tree when we were clearing for the, for the new house, uh, how to use a wood chipper, which I use a lot these days, believe it or not, um, how to do snow machining, which I've learned is uh, all you got to do to snow machine is call it snow machine. That's the hardest part of that. But um, I, ha I, I happen to have two of the greatest uncles in the world. And as I've got, you know, looking at uh, Bennett and Connor down there um, and McLean, he's taught me how to be an uncle and uh, how important that is. Um, and I'm having a hard time saying that, Uncle Jim. Um, so um, thank you for all the lessons. And uncle is a really important thing that I've learned. And uh, as I look at my nephews, um, I will take those lessons with me. So thank you and congratulations. And, um, and Laura, the first time I met you, it was actually my bachelor party at Balsam Lake. <laughs> and uh, just the quick story, uh, Lori was on a, uh, I think another girl's trip or something, and four or five women walked into the tops or paradise where we were hanging out. Oh, and then they, uh, they left, and uh, uh, one of my friends just leaned over, Jason Chapman, he goes, let me guess, Jim's with the pretty one. <laughs> and I said, you nailed it, absolutely. So congratulations, you guys. Uh, and Chris and Yo, thank you so much. This is the part of the toast that uh, I give every time to say, we never, uh, we never take this place for granted. And thank you. I've said that many times, but uh, just a quick reminder. So thank you, guys. Okay. Uh, I just want to thank you, everybody who is here, and. Um, uh, you're all really, really great, and, um, uh, cakes for dessert? <laughs> oh, how, how do you follow that? Jack's good work. Uh, look, I just want to say, honestly, um, I looked around today, I think I said this to Lori, like, this day just makes me happy, um. All my favorite people in one were in one room, uh, but seriously, like when you guys, when Bri texted me at 9:49 p.m. on October 19th and said, "What's the weather like in Healdsburg in January?" I'm like, "What the hell are you talking about?" It's, <laughs> I don't know. What What do you mean? <laughs> and about 14 minutes later, he's like, "Yeah, we're having a wedding at your house. Uh, is that all right?" And honestly, was so happy. Um, Pop Jim, uh, Yip said it all about being an uncle. Um, I'm so excited to be at my second favorite uncle's wedding. Uh, but honestly, you taught me um, so much, just like Tripp said, about being an uncle. Um, you showed up at the single moment of, the, of our lives where we needed you the most. Like a knight in shining armor. Uh, we were about to get killed by our grandmother, the, the four of us. Literally murdered by our grandmother. Uh, and somebody made an SOS call to Papa Jim. And Papa Jim showed up and plucked us out of that situation right before, right, right before we were almost dead in a bathtub. Uh, and honestly, I think that says everything about you. Um, you are a problem solver. You help people. You're there when people need you. Um, and you've been an amazing uncle. Um, Lori, like I look at you, and, I, and we've talked about this, I look at your relationship. You guys are just awesome. Um, you're just a damn cool couple. Uh, and I think your relationship is honestly one of the coolest things I've seen. Um, in all honesty, it's really cool. Uh, so thank you. Uh, we're happy to have you guys. Um, congratulations. Uh, I love you guys. Okay, you're right. No, no, no. no, no. Why
There was something serious to say. I thank Chelsea. Um, um, well, I just, I, well, I remember when me and Molly and Jackson and Caroline were really little, we would all pretend that <laughs> we would all throw fake weddings <laughs> for them, and when we were all at their house, and um, I was eating dinner, and I was just like, wait, wait, I heard the word getting married, and I turned around, and I was like, wait, wait, who, who's getting, wait, what? Because I, I didn't, I was oblivious. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> and so when I found out they were getting married, I was super happy, and yay. Yeah. You guys are awesome. I love you so much.